Oh my god, all our plants are dying. I cannot believe this. Look at this. It's Look. very it's very sad. All our cucumber plants are dying. Things like bottle gourd, cucumbers, bitter gourd. We have some kind of disease. Take a look at this. This is one of our bottle gourd plant. This was a beautiful plant only seven to eight days ago. And look at the state this plant is in now. And this is not only plant, all our plants are dying. Now this bottle gourd plant was an amazing looking plant only eight to nine days ago. It was so healthy and everything. Wow. It, was, it was beautifully healthy. And look at the state of this plant. This was fruiting. This was a fruiting um, bottle gourd plant. And I pollinated five or six bottle gourds. I can't even see them now. The, this here. This here. And, and if you can see the whole fruit is infected. It's starting to rot now. Look at this. Oh my god, what's happening? What, what is happening to our plants? What type of disease is this? Now this disease is killing all our cucumber plants. Hodu, squash, bitter gourd, bottle gourd, cucumber. Snake gourd. Snake gourd is killing everything. It's not just killing the plant. It's killing the stem, the root, the flowers and the, uh, and the fruit. So literally the plants are dying. What is it, Aki? What do we do? Dad, I've been doing some research on Google about fungal diseases. The most common diseases for um, cucurbit um, family, powdery mildew and downy mildew. Looking at this plant, it can't be powdery mildew. Powdery mildew is very easy to recognize. It has white powdery substances on the leaf. So how do we, uh, so this is definitely not powdery mildew because it doesn't have any powdery substance on the leaves. So what other fungus disease, what other common fungus disease do we have in bottle gourd, cucumber, squash? Downy mildew, it affects the leaf of the plant. So downy mildew, you get these irregular spots, spots on the leaf. and it affects the leaves, but it doesn't affect the fruits. No, but the disease that we have is affecting the leaves, the stem, and the fruits, fruits and flowers. And the flowers, so it's affecting the fruits here. I can see irregular spots on this fruit, the flowers, the stem, and on the stem I can see it's got this brown Marks, marks on it, burn marks on it, and, and this is. It has irregular brown spots on the leaves. It, it has some circular, circular spots, isn't it? Yeah. And some burnt areas. Burnt areas around it. It's all dying. Okay, so it's, so you're saying it's not powdery mildew and it's not downy, downy mildew. So what is it then? Dad, I think it's anthracnose. Anthrac anthracnose. So anthracnose is a disease, it's a fungus disease that affects bottle Leaves. gourd, all, all cucurbite all plants, cucurbites. things like squash, squash, um, misty lau, every type of gourd. All, all gourd plants, it affects all gourd plants. And I don't think that you can fix them. No. Once you have it, you have to cut your plants off. Dad, could this be evil eye? Okay, I don't know, it could be evil eye. It's, you know, many people do believe in evil lie. Some people say, sok lagi gese, nozol lagi gese. Uh, it, it does, um, <laughs> I don't know. Dad, if this is evil eye, how do we cure it? You don't cure any evil eye. It, I don't know. I just don't know what to do. This, uh, this fungus disease, you can't cure it because if it's uh, anthracnose, you just have to okay. chop down all the plant. And um, so I think we, I know where I went wrong, Akiv. I mean, it usually comes from, Anthrax nose comes from wet weather. I mean, last uh, f couple of weeks ago, we had really hot, hot weather, yeah, yeah. Uh, really warm weather. And then last seven or eight days, we had constant rain. Rain all the time. All the time. And I think that rain caused that uh, um, fungus disease. And also, 
at the trail is that you've been planting your bottle growth. If you don't clear the dead debris, and if you had disease last year, that could actually um, survive over the winter and you will actually get it on your plant again. So I think we haven't cleaned the old debris properly from last year. This could be one of the reasons. I, I, and the second reason could be the uh, wet weather that we had last week. We had rain for about six or seven days constantly. Yeah. That was too much like water. A thunderstorm, Dad. We had so much rain and the weather was really cold. I'm heartbroken. I, I really don't know what to say. It's not just one plant. It's every All single plants. plant in our garden. Um, I'm glad we had good bottle growth start with in the early season. But it happened. And we have this disease now, this fungus disease, and I don't know what to do with it. That one dying also, Akif? Yes, this one's all finished, Dad. This is the, do you believe it? This is the second Khodu uh, um, plant I planted in that pot in the last four weeks. The first one died two weeks ago, and this is the second one. Second and it, this plant was thriving. It's actually climbed onto the trailers, trailers and it was producing Khodu. Uh, it was producing, and look what happened to it. Look at this, Dad has to be something. It's, it's definitely fungus disease. Um, it's definitely fungus disease, but what's causing the fungus is why are we having this bad luck? It takes me back to what your mum said about soak like you say, nozzle. I don't believe in those things. But now I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't it's know. To think about it. It's not that I've used anything on the plant for the plant to die. We're not amateurs. We know what we're doing. But this fungus disease, we're getting being so unlucky. If anyone watching this video has any knowledge about this fungus disease, please let us know. We need your help. All our plants are dying. Hakeem, the only thing I know to get rid of anthrax is we have to take all the plants, plants out. out. So do the sad thing, Hakeem. Dad, this is so yes, do this. I'll just take, Let's see how the root is. Just take it out. Let's, just, well, let's see what the root looks like. I mean, I mean, the root looks fine. Look, yeah. The root, it's not affecting the root. Can you see it's got beautiful looking root. Yeah, it does. It nice has be and white. So, it has beautiful looking root. But, it's killing the leaves, the stem and the fruit. Okay, look, amazing looking root. So, it's not anything that we put in to kill the plant. This is a, definitely a fungus disease. Look at the beautiful looking root. Well guys, we're not going to be growing any uh, khodu this year because we don't have any more plants. I guess we're going to have to come to your, your guys' garden and we'll have some khodus. khodus you uh, each, each one of you have to give us a khodu. So, okay, what do we do? Dad, there's not a lot we can do. We just need patience. Inna laha ma'aswa barin. God favors those who are patient. I can't say I really hoped you enjoyed this video because I know you haven't. I know you're feeling sorry for us and sad. Keep us in your prayers and keep, um, hopefully we keep safe from evil eye and fungal diseases. And fungal diseases. Um, and hopefully we've learned something from this because um, there could be several reasons that why we have uh, this anthracnose disease on our cucumber plant. It could be that uh, we haven't cleared off the last year's debris properly and the disease survived over the winter. over the winter. That could be one reason. Second reason, which I am 99% sure, it was the rain that we had uh, uh, last week. We had rain for about uh, six or seven days, constant rain. Too much moisture on the, on the leaves, uh, you get all sorts of fungus diseases. So please keep us in your prayers and uh, th remember we're coming to your house to get our bottle wood this year. Goods, yeah. and we're not going to have any. Happy gardening. Assalamu alaikum and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Assalamu alaikum. And until then I'll see you in the next one.